Oh. That was the big mama. Uh. <laughs> Good. There you go. Do you feel those? So we have Sam here today. Uh, Sam, what do you want to work on? Well, about a month ago, I um, sprained my sprained my knee doing jujitsu. Um, but then when I kind of had a PT look at it, he thought it was due to some like weakness and balance in my posterior chain, my glutes. And then as I've been trying to work that out, other things up the chain have gone wrong. So now my mm -hmm. whole shoulder is kind of jammed up and my neck's jammed up in there, so. Okay, so we have left shoulder. We're gonna look at his pelvic alignment. We'll look at a, a very soft adjustment on his knee to see if there's anything I can do for tracking. If you um, just do like an air squat, you don't have to do much, but do you feel instability just tracking down? Mm, and you can pick whatever foot alignment you want. It just feels junky. It's just like, like how about coming out of the hole? So now you're coming back up. So you go down. I feel pressure in the back, like like on the back right. Uh, just sort of in the, the back soft tissue of the knee. It just feels. And this is your bad knee. This is my bad knee. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Instability. It just I don't like want to go to full lockout. Like there's the last five degrees are kind of just. All right. So I'm going to look also at your hamstring attachment. I'm going to look at your uh, glute glute medius. Uh, piriformis on the right. I'll look at that whole uh, kinetic chain. I'm gonna have you lie face down. Your nose will be right here, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll do some work. We'll see what happens. Okay. Does your lower back ever get tight or not bad? Yeah, that I've been working that out so it's loosened up. But, okay. Uh, yeah, it definitely does tighten up. I might put this a uh, little flexion distraction on you for a minute. It's very gentle. It yeah. feels nice. It'll just warm you up. And uh, while I'm working anyway, it'll just be running in the background. And you'll see it just goes up and down. What it does is it stretches this lower back right here and kind of gives a gentle traction pull on the, um, the last few lumbars. And I can add to it by just holding down the back while it stretches, but it feels nice, right? Yeah. It's just gentle. But I'm gonna just come up the back and just kind of get to know his back, just feel the, the muscularity of the back. I already feel like this right side gets tighter than the left. Feel this right in here. So comparatively, this is the left side, and here's the right side. And this just feels a little tighter. Do you think so? Or yeah, you can't really yeah. Tell? Right, right there. Yeah, my right side is generally what I put all my weight on, so it's from my IT band all the way up. I'm a left side guy, so most of my symptoms musculoskeletally are left side. I got left shoulder, left knee when it when it's gonna hurt is it's gonna be my left side. My left knee's been good lately, thank goodness, but uh, when it does, um, it's left. It's always left on me. So I'm gonna push in really deep now. Okay, this should hurt a little bit. Turn your face to the right. That way you might be able that to just, breathe. The thing is a little like, jammed up in there. It makes it a little painful. Oh, I'm sorry. You can yeah. put your face straight down. Is it easier straight down? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. So now I'm going to um, oh. kind of dig in here. Is this too strong or are we okay with this stuff? No, I'm good. It should kind of make sense. Like it hurts, but, yeah. but in a therapeutic kind of way that you think, don't stop because I kind of need someone to dig this out. It just needs to be dug out. Yeah. So I'm digging in now to his left trap, mostly superior to inferior in direction, but a little P to A, posterior to anterior. And I'm letting, the table just pulls on the whole chain of the back, the posterior chain. So I'm, by compressing here, the, the table does some of the work for me. And Someone needed to do this anyway, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, dig in for you a little bit? Yeah. It's a spot that's almost impossible to get on your own. You could try those back knobber things, but they don't seem to get it quite right. You know, those uh, S things that... Yeah, the Theracanes. Yeah, the Theracanes. They're pretty good, but... It's funny, I've owned one for like 20 years and I hardly ever use it. It's, it sits in my apartment. You feel this spot here? Yeah. So right now, um really kind of on a rib head at T1, 2, 3, 4, T4 rib head. Here's the scapula. He's got his rhomboids there. 
but I'm below the rhomboid onto the actual articulation where the, it's called the costal vertebral joint. It's where the rib meets the side of the vertebra. I'm gonna try to adjust that as long as I'm on it perfectly, okay? Yeah. So big breath in and blow it out. Might have to get that one face up. So we're gonna come back to that one. Sometimes it's easier supine, sometimes it's easier prone. So I'm still just digging into his muscles. Do me a favor and turn your face left and right and point to the worst spot. So that's a left turn yeah, just... and you're feeling it in there. Did you ever dislocate the middle finger on that hand? Mm, not or, you know, or you have gi fingers anyway, right? A little bit, but I don't know. So right in there a little bit? Yeah. So I'm gonna use the instrument for a minute. So this is the activator instrument. If you're curious, not you, Sam, but if someone's watching is curious, they can go to activator.com and learn more about this instrument because sometimes they get comments like, what the hell is the instrument? But it basically pushes the bone a millimeter to two millimeters, sometimes three millimeters at a time. It doesn't look like much. It's not that exciting on video, but it works. And I'm more interested in getting the job done so this is what I would use on your knee too, okay, Sam? Yeah. So turn back to the left, and we're going to keep pointing to bad spots. Did that help that last little round of tapping? Yeah, there's just it looks maybe... Yeah, so we're going to just keep chasing it, okay? Oh, that's good. That's a bad spot, right? Yeah. I might as well drop down on that fourth rib too. It was right in there. So go left, right, test, point. Left, right, test, point. You're going to help me. Okay, back to center again. So drop your nose straight down. And we're gonna come back in. Now, now try it again. Are we getting any any range of motion changes or not really? The range of motion is there, it's just, it, it gets like almost nervy. Okay. Oof. Try it again. Yeah, that's getting a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna probably come in by hand next. I just kind of got it opened a little bit. And I'm going to come back to the instrument when we do your right knee. But in the meantime, I'm going to do the first adjustment on this. I'm going to take the um, traction off the table so it just stops when it comes up. So first I'm going to do a, a little spinous push here. And then turn your head this way. Oh, that's hard to get on you. Let's get you on your back. You didn't hear any pops there, right? I got one little one. A little one? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna reach under and just adjust between your scapula. Okay. I'm looking for just a way to kind of loosen you up and get you started. And I think that's a good place to start. Now you felt those. Yes. How many, like two or three quick pops? Three or four, yeah. Yeah. So that'll, who doesn't like the shoulder blades? Yeah. And as a, a grappler, that's, you know, you, you, you have a lot of, a lot through this area. Yeah, engaging as a yeah. I'm not always the best at getting that. There you go, do you feel those? Yes. So now I just got him right here now, and at the lower thoracics, which is kind of nice because that's called the thoracolumbar junction where you turn from thoracics to lumbar, your curve of your spine goes from a convexity to a concavity, and it takes a little abuse there for athletes, so we want to freshen that up. Now I'm going to come back to the neck and see if I can get a little more motion for you, because I think you're still locked up in the, those areas. Another little one. Did you hear it? Yeah, it was deep. Okay. Keep up there. And let's try this side. Oh. That was the big mama. Uh. <laughs> Did that scare you or was it okay? No, I've had it done before, but yeah. I, I always put up a little bit of a fight sometimes. Yeah. But you felt it, right? Yeah, that, that was yeah, there was about six of them it felt like or something. Yeah, like, like six pops. It was huge. So um let's have you um let me just try to get a few more out of your back just to mobilize it, because some of this stuff just feels like tightness, you know? Yeah. What, what's weird about the world these days 
It's like a guy like you, you, you you're just getting back to jujitsu because these places have been closed. Yeah. You know? I mean, you haven't been able to do what you do, right? Or what you like to do. It's been limit, limited. Yeah, right? it's I mean, hard, to, hard to kind of stay Gyms are remote. closed. You know, swimming pools are closed. You know, so a lot of people can't do whatever their normal routine was. They don't have access to it. So I'm going to have you turn this way on your side. Pull this knee up. And I'm going to take your arm through like this, okay? And pull your hip down towards me. One more. Good. Come to the other side. And then pull this knee up. Good. And line your back. I'm just going to pull on your ankle. And then we're going to have you turn over and I'm going to look at that right knee and do kind of an, a technical adjustment. So lie face down again. Your left knee doesn't bother you too much, correct? No. I'm actually gonna put these alignment shoes on you. They help me just kind of see which leg is pulling more than the other. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, you know, they give me a, a better vantage point because the bottom of our feet are rounded. They're not flat and crisp. Don't have a crisp edge on it. But this gives us a crisp edge so that when I'm holding them near each other, I can see which side is pulling short. And then check it pre and post. So believe it or not, your left leg's pulling short a little bit in this position, which doesn't mean you have a short leg. It just means that I have to balance the pelvis a little bit. So I'm gonna just do some points. So when I push, and I challenge uh, his ischial tuberosity and up into the fossa, the ilium. I get a relaxing effect on the leg. You want to shoot it straight down? And if I pull this hip down, which is the, the direction I don't want to set it, it tenses the leg and the foot draws short. So. I use it as a tool just to remind myself. I can almost see it on him, but I like doing layers. So I'm gonna now adjust into your ischial tuberosity. Is that okay? Yeah. Yoga teachers call this the sitz bone. The second row is the sacral tuberous ligament on a 45 degree angle up towards his hip, lateral and up. And already I'm getting a relaxing effect. And we're gonna just keep going. I just, I just want to check. So now I'm gonna to go to the right side. I got the legs pretty relaxed. I'm gonna take his right tibia and push it forward. And that immediately made the legs tense and the foot, foot level change. And that gives us a little window into what I'm looking at. So it tells me that if I adjust it from anterior to posterior on the plateau of his tibia, very gently, his body might like that. And I'm stimulating the mechanoreceptors and the proprioceptors, and that had a balancing effect. So the next thing I'm gonna do is recheck what I just did. I'm gonna push that tibia forward and see if I can keep the legs relaxed, and they're relaxed. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to grab the fibula, which is the outside stabilizing bone, and I'm going to pull it posterior up in the air because that bone likes to subluxate posteri posteriorly, and I didn't get anything. So now I'm going to push it superior. So the fibula looks fine. So I'm going to rotate the knee now. I'm going to internally rotate it, and that made the leg go short. So he probably has an internally rotated lower knee or lower leg putting pressure on that knee. But let's try externally rotating it and see if that's a corrective direction, and it is. So I'm going to stimulate external rotation with a fast high speed tap and then recheck. So now I'm gonna internally rotate and it's holding in a relaxed position. I'm really happy about that. The next thing I'm gonna do is check the kneecap. So I'm gonna push the kneecap medial. That looks fine. Lateral, that looks fine. Superior, 
fine. Inferior, so he doesn't have a patella dislocation or patella, that's not the issue. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compress the knee down or really compress the tibia into the femur and I'm not getting any compression issues. I had internal rotation and an anterior tibia is the only thing I found on his knee today. So I'm gonna come up and check his hip next. Internal rotation of the hip, external rotation of the hip, no problem. So I'm gonna leave that. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just check this glute. So I'm gonna pull his leg out to the side gently. Let me have it this way. And I'm gonna dig in here just a little bit into his glute and see if I can find a trigger point. Here's one, it just made him jump a little bit. Do you feel that one? Mm -hmm. It's like a little twitchy, right? Yeah, it's the so this is a, every year. Yeah, so this is something you can keep working on with a lacrosse ball. Mm -hmm. And do you know how to band your knees and do some like uh, clamshell or deep knee bends with the band around your upper thighs? Yeah, I do have some of those bands. In yeah, so band you could try that a little bit. I'm sure your physical therapist would give that to you. Yeah. Right here's another spot. That should hurt a little bit. Yeah. So you definitely have some glute stuff. I'm gonna have you come stand up now and see what this feels like. So you're gonna stand over here where we started and come back here a little bit. You don't have to do a deep knee bend unless you want, maybe a little bit of one, a half of a knee bend. Just see how your knees are feeling. Feels a little more, more stable. Yeah. Uh, so what happened is, I'm gonna just grab your, yeah. your pant leg yeah. because I don't, so what happened is it turned this way. Mm. Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And the tibia came forward a little bit. Mm. So I set the tibia back and I unturned it. Mm. Instead of internal, I pulled it back just the tiniest bit. Like we're talking a millimeter. Yeah, yeah. But see how it feels. Yeah, thank you. Okay. How was today? Was it okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all, right. all that tech stuff, I've been trying to get it out myself and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad you tried this. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. All right. Another little one. Ooh, awesome. That's a good place to start. <laughs>